Hey guys, it's Vegan Supergirl. Welcome to another video. So, I have always been a fan of Selena Gomez's until recently she did a commercial supporting a Pantene hair product. Which, for those of you guys who don't know, Pantene actually still tests on animals. And the reason it is so important that you use products that are cruelty free is because there's about 100 million animals every year in the US that are burned, crippled, and abused for animal testing. And a lot of animals will go through something called the Drazed Eye Test, which is when companies test the irritation their products causes in somebody's eyes. And for this, they use an animal and put it in a machine where it keeps their eyes open for days at a time. And around 50% of these animals actually end up dying because of these tests. So now I'm gonna show you guys a quick clip of what actually happens with animals and testing and then I'll show you guys the products that I use. This is Britches. Experimenters at the University of California Riverside sewed his eyelids shut and a sonar device was strapped to his head in a crude attempt to study blindness. Deprived of his sight, his mother and all physical contact, Britches developed neurotic behaviors such as clutching desperately at his body and erratic spasming. These kittens were used in experiments performed at the Boys Town National Research Hospital. The experimenters cut open kitten skulls and severed a bundle of nerves in the animal's brain without giving the kittens any painkillers. The experimenters defended themselves by saying they were studying hearing loss, but organizations, including the World Federation of the Deaf, condemned the experiments as wasteful and cruel. This baboon was named Hansen. He lived and was killed at Columbia University in 2003. A veterinarian there blew the whistle when she saw how he and other baboons were allowed to suffer. He was used and killed in cancer experiments. Even though human epidemiology, human clinical studies, and the use of human cells have resulted in cancer research progress, while animal studies have proved inconclusive. The year before this footage was taken at the University of North Carolina, the government had already reprimanded the school for cruelty to animals and neglect. But the sloppiness and abuse continued. In two separate investigations, PETA showed that UNC experimenters still left animals to languish with overgrown tumors and painful swellings, used improper means of destroying animals, such as cutting their heads off with kitchen scissors, or using dull guillotines, and amputated the rodents' toes without painkillers so as to tell them apart more easily. This footage was taken by a PETA investigator who worked undercover at the IAMS Pet Food Contract Laboratory, where nutritional studies were conducted. She found dogs kept in barren steel and cement cages for up to six years, with no comfort or veterinary care given to them if they were sick or injured, and the dogs' vocal cords were cut so that their barking wouldn't disturb the researchers. These chimpanzees lived out their lives in isolation at a federally funded research laboratory called SEMA. These barren steel isolation cages are called isolettes. They are designed to hold one animal for several years. Left with nothing to do or touch or no interaction with each other, the chimps go mad. Government inspectors found that SEMA had not provided veterinary care when needed and that the primates were shivering, vomiting, and suffering from skin abrasions and hair loss. This is the Dray's test, which is still used today as it was over 60 years ago. It involves placing concentrations of a test substance into rabbits' eyes and monitoring corneal deterioration. Reactions include swelling, inflammation, ulceration, hemorrhaging, and blindness. The tests continue to be used, although alternatives are widely available. PETA videotaped these rabbits inside a Philadelphia laboratory. The test substance was poured into the rabbit's eye, which was then left untreated for days with no pain relief, and then the damage was simply marked on a chart. Once the test was finished, the rabbits were killed and discarded. So the first product that I wanted to show you guys is a 
Germ Organic Face Wash. I really, really like this. It's oil-free, which I really like because it doesn't feel like I have anything on my face after I wash it off. It's a bit expensive, but it is worth it. So if you guys are looking for a vegan face wash, I do suggest that you try Next this out. product that I wanted to show you guys is Percy Natural Body Wash. I absolutely love this. It smells like coconut and lemon and it's super, super good. It makes my skin feel super soft as well. So I really, really like this. So the next cruelty-free product that I use is Avalon Shaving Cream. This actually smells really strong like mints. So it wakes me up in the morning whenever I use it. The only problem I have with this is it does wash away really easily. So it's still a really good product, but I've had used much better. All right, so next I'm gonna show you guys all the shampoos I use. There's quite a few, so I'm gonna start with those and then I'll show you all the conditioners I use as well. So I'm gonna start with Bronner's. I have the lavender and the mint. I have tried using this in my hair before and it made it really stiff and I just it made it a mess and super tangly. But I know a lot of people have had success with this and their hair was super soft after they used it. But for me, I rather use this as a body So wash. the next shampoo that I use is Avalon Organics Thickening Shampoo. I absolutely love this product. It always leaves my hair feeling so soft and light after I use it. So I saved my favorite shampoo for last and that's Delon Organics Now Shampoo. This smells so so good it kind of smells like kiwi almost but it's the most amazing smell that i've ever smelled and this also leaves my hair super super soft and you guys i definitely definitely suggest that you guys try this so from the same brand i also have a body wash and then a moisturizer and these both smell amazing as well and they are cruelty free so they are causing no pain whatsoever so as you can see there is absolutely no reason why anybody should be supporting products that contain animal products or are tested on animals when there are clearly products that you can use instead so thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe and stay super